We're at Port Vila Airport waiting to board our flight to Pentecost Island. We're flying to Haviland Twin Otters from Air Vanuatu. A little cozy, but it works. It's a beautiful day to fly. We're heading due north over the chain of islands that make up the country of Vanuatu. It takes us a little less than an hour to fly the 120 miles. The Pentecost Islanders have turned out to welcome us. There's an enthusiastic band. The head chief and the head of the island's tourist council are eager to greet us. On behalf of chief, and on behalf of the chiefs, Long Pentecost, on Pentecost Island, around Pentecost Island, we would like to give a big warm welcome. We would like to say big well, warm welcome to you all. Where you will come through Long Pentecost, where which you came through to Pentecost Island. I think I mean more thank you to us. Protocol requires that all the people greet us. That makes for a long receiving line. These men are going to take us to the land diving area. On the way, these kids sing for us. It's our first look at the tower. A new tower is built every year. It's used one day a week for three months. After each use, it has to be rebuilt. The tower is built of newly cut wood and vines, no metal nails or cables. The tower and the landing area typically take 20 or 30 men several weeks to build. The vines are selected by a village elder and matched with each jumper's weight based purely on experience. The ends of the vines are shredded so the fibers can be wrapped around the jumper's ankles. The first diver at the lowest level of the tower is about 11 years old. For boys, the first dive is a rite of passage into manhood. This ritual goes back centuries. The legend is a woman dissatisfied with her husband ran away into the forest. He followed her so that she climbed a banyan tree. He climbed after her. She tied vines around her ankles and jumped. He jumped after her, but without the vines. She lived, he died. Now men perform land diving so that they will not be tricked again. There will be 10 dives today from five different levels on the tower. The first step is to secure the vines to the diver's ankles. Then he moves to the end of the platform, being careful not to tangle the vines in the tower. Then the diver is expected to entertain the crowd, to sing, to pantomime, to make a speech. Takeoff is critical. The diver has to jump out from the tower so the vines don't get tangled. Some divers stretch out their arms and some tuck them in. A diver can reach a speed of 45 miles an hour during the dive.
According to Guinness World Records, the g-force at the lowest point in the dive is the greatest experienced by humans in the non-industrialized world. The ideal dive is from high on the tower with the jumper landing close to the ground. The goal is to brush the shoulders against the ground. The crowd is getting excited. The divers are at the top levels. Before the last dive from the top of the tower, the chief speaks to his people. The champion takes his place at the top of the tower. The women look concerned. The landing isn't perfect, but he gets extra points for height. A good yam harvest is assured. Land diving will never be an Olympic sport, but it is becoming a tourist attraction. Care is being taken not to commercialize the ritual and to limit it to the traditional times of year and the number of dives. The chief and his men lead us down the runway to lunch. A sub-chief invites us to lunch. After lunch, the drums tell us that the entertainment's about to start. We're not the only audience, it's standing room only. These girls finally got the courage to have Sherry take their picture. John, the head of the tourism committee, thanks us for visiting Pentecost. Then it's back to our airplanes for our flight back to Port Vila. The islanders wave goodbye as we taxi for takeoff. It's striking how lush Pentecost is and how thinly populated. The pilot points out Ambrim Island one of the most active volcanoes in Vanuatu. We're back over Ifate. That's the golden wing from yesterday. Back at the hotel, we have some time to pack before dinner on the wedding deck. Cocktails are accompanied by singing from some very cute kids. We've had some really memorable dinners on this trip. What will make this, our last dinner together, really memorable? How about fire dancers? Followed by fireworks. In the morning, we're back at the airport. Crew greets us one last time in their usual fashionable way. It's been an amazing trip from Hawaii, Morea, New Zealand, Australia, Borneo, 
Vanuatu. But this is the last leg for this trip. It's back to Hawaii, then we'll be going our separate ways.